All right, guys. Do you, you have a tough time winning that game without Landon Lucas? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, if you told me before the game that Landon and, and uh, Perry would combine for 17 rebounds, I'd say that would be a heck of an effort. I didn't think that one of them would get 16 of them, though. Uh, but, you know, Landon was he's the best player in the game. He did a great job on Devin. Uh, and certainly, uh, uh, would, you know, you know, he's got five block shots on the year, and he got four tonight, and nine points, and 16 rebounds, and and played just fabulous. So, uh, uh, I know the one possession early in the game where he, he caught the ball right under the basket and hesitated to go, and they blocked his shot. And other than that, that's about the only foo paw I think he made tonight. I thought he played smart, scouting report, and and, and was really as a primary reason why we won. You haven't always gotten a ton of scoring off the bench, but uh, tonight Brandon Green came in and gave you yeah. 10 points. How big was that? Well, he gave us 10. He yeah. gave yeah 10 points, and and, and that was good. Uh, uh, you know, he made a couple of shots, which he can. It's unbelievable. He 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 makes two threes like it's nothing. Then he's wide open and at least a shot an air ball, uh, uh, which you know I don't I don't know what the deal was on that one. But I, I thought yeah I thought he played smart and. Got in there, and, and Wayne Wayne didn't have his best game, obviously, and, and, and played through fouls the first half. And so we needed BG to bail us out, and he did. To be as consistent as Perry Ellis has been offensively. Yeah, he's been he's been offensively he's been terrific, and and defensively he actually played well, just didn't rebound uh, like he's capable of rebounding. But but uh, yeah, he's he's been. His, he's one of the more efficient, you know, guys. You know, you, you talk about players that can score a lot of points and not take very many shots. And and I, I don't know, last last three games or so, he's right around 21 to 23, I think, on, on maybe 11 shots or nine shots or 12 shots. And and, and certainly he's been he's been very very efficient his, and consistent. His demeanor always appears to be very cool and calm. Does that help him with that consistency? And also, does that Rub off on some of his teammates. You know, maybe. Are are, are you from here? From Wichita. You're from Wichita, so yeah, you're you're from here then. So you've seen Perry play a, a lot, and 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 uh, uh, I I do think that his demeanor is, you know, the highs aren't too high and the lows aren't too low. It's it's that probably does lend to consistency. Uh, uh, that's that's a great point. I hadn't even thought about that. Uh, uh, you know, Wiggs was the same way, and Wiggs drove me nuts because I thought he could always do more. But at the end of the day, he knew exactly what he was doing. It's just highs don't get too high and lows don't, and don't get too low. And and uh, but I, but I do think Perry can play with more emotion, uh, and I think he would be more active and and uh, do more good things if he did. But but he he's been so such a rock for us for four years. He's he's been he's been stellar. It's it's hard to find any fault with the kid that that that, that conducts himself like he does. How about Landon as a rebounder? I mean, he, he went and got some rebounds yeah. tonight, too. Yeah. I mean, is that his greatest strength? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and he's a good low post defender. You know, we said all along that, you know, certain guys, at least we thought going into it, that certain guys would be better in certain situations. And guarding a heavy guy, you know, there's no question he's by far the best we got uh, in doing that. And, you know, we didn't have to trap. We didn't have to do some things that we may have to do with somebody else. Uh, but but you know at, at halftime Landon had seven rebounds. Our next leading rebounder had two. So so uh, uh, yeah he he was he was so valuable tonight. Does that start to define what you want there? I mean, it, it, or you, you don't have any reason you have to make any commitments to a guy being a B guy. The no spot, no. But I mean, does, does a game like this show you that, that Landon can really be all that? Yeah, but he, but we've given Landon a chance. You know, if if, if you really look at it, Landon's been. Been in the gate late game situations just about every game that's been tight for us, uh, uh, and and we've had a, we've had a few of them. So, yeah, he 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 is you know he's not a prolific scorer. He's not going to be a guy that you know if he can get an angle or get an easy put back. That's that's what he does. But the, you know he's a smart player and he's a good screener and you know and he, and he finished above the rim a couple of times tonight. You know he sets a good screen and runs the rim and gets lobs. I mean he 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 just played he just does what he. Does I mean, uh, uh, and and uh, you know he he's smart, uh, uh, but but defensively he's really I I don't know if you really study it but he's I mean scout report taken away left shoulder I mean he does a lot of things really good defensively. But what can you allow yourself to either take from or enjoy from this game, knowing what's next? Uh, well, I'm not gonna I I tell you what I can take from it. We got we got punked in Morgantown, 
And so tonight, uh, uh, I, I thought we were we were much more competitive. I thought I thought we we made many 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 more competitive plays. Uh, now that doesn't mean that they didn't make them too, because they obviously got 14 offensive rebounds and and whipped us in some some areas. But and, and you know we turn it over 15 times, but how many times we're in the backcourt against their pressure? I mean it was, it was I think once or twice the whole game, and then we we end up turning it over. We get sped up in the forecourt. But but I I think what I can take away is that you know that we were you know played more like men than we did when we went to Morgantown. You're pretty pleased with the composure of your team, the way things go. Well, except for stretches, you know, you're up 13, you lose composure, and they cut it to six. Uh, uh, they're at the end of the game, you know, a couple of bad turnovers. Uh, uh, so, so I don't know. You know, Devontae had two bad turnovers trying to pass over trap uh, instead of stepping through it. But, but yeah, for the most part, I thought I thought we kept our composure pretty good. It was it was kind of a chippy game. Yeah, yeah. No, no, there's too much talking. But, 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 but the whole thing is, you know, it's it, it's kind of a. It was a chippy game, and I'm not going to tell our guys, you know, I'm going to tell them no, 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 no. But but the bottom line is, you know, in a in a game like that, because you know the the way that the way that the Mountaineers play and the way the game went out there, I mean, our guys were, you know, they they, they kind of had the mindset that 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 uh, you know they were going to be much more competitive at home. So game got a little chippy, but that that's okay. I, I don't think that um, it's going to bother me one bit, and I don't trust me. It's in a, in a butter hugs <laughs> at all. So. How about the help defense on Page, especially on his drives? You know, uh, pretty good. You know, he got off 16 shots, I think. Is that right? And so, obviously, uh, you know, uh, you know, when when you play ball, a lot of times to me, uh, you know, you look at stats and a guy shoots a low percentage and you think you guard well. That's that's misleading. If a guy got off that many shots, you probably didn't guard as well as what you think. But the first half, we did a great job of shrinking the floor and not letting them, you know, get into pain off the bounce. The second half, they did some things differently to move guys around, and and they were much better attacking us. The second half. Every time they see you make a run and try to cut into the lead, you guys have answered. Why do you think you were so resilient tonight? Uh. You know, I don't know. Uh, um, I, I I don't I don't remember all the plays, but they cut it to four. Is that as close as they got? They got to three, and 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 I know Wayne made a huge three. Uh, uh, we had some we had some great possessions in the first half where he came away empty. Uh, second half we had some some good possessions where where I think we were a little bit more efficient the second half. But but uh, I, I I don't know why. I mean, just guys making plays. After already kind of taking an elbow, Frank turns it over and then steps in and takes a charge at the end of the game. What what do you see out of him from a toughness perspective? Well, you know that that was they they weren't back to back. I mean that was I mean that happened earlier in the game, but. Uh, you know, he wouldn't have had to take an elbow if he could guard the ball and keep him in front of him. So, so that's what I take of it: guard the ball, and you, 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 you won't get hit. Uh, uh, and, and, but, but the one thing he did make a bad play uh, there in press offense, bad play. And, and, but he made up for it by taking by taking a charge. And, and, uh, but he, you know, Frank didn't always play great, but there's nobody tougher, nobody. Uh, uh, you know, he, he, he's about as competitive as as, as anybody that we've had here. Bill, for, for February 9th, do you like where you're at in the standings? Do you like how this team is playing right now? Yeah, I like. I, I think we're playing better. Uh, you know, we, we had that dull stretch. Uh, hopefully, everybody else is going to hit that in February, and we've already gone through it. But uh, I don't. I don't particularly like where we're at in the standings. You, you look at. We, we still got to. We still got to go to Norman, Manhattan, uh, uh, Waco, and Austin. So we probably have the toughest schedule of anybody left. Uh, um, and and but you know you got to go win away from home, you know we we the the record our record shouldn't be uh, what are we now nine and two nine and three, is that what we are eight, 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 eight and three okay uh, uh, so we're eight and three and, and our record shouldn't be ten and one, uh, uh, but but we we we. We we could have played better, obviously, in Stillwater. Uh, not that we should have won the game; they outplayed us, you know, basically from start to finish. But but uh, you know, we 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 got to go steal one uh, that that uh, that we kind of let slip away. And, and whether that be Stillwater, or Morgantown, or or Ames, we we, we got to go steal one because you know I I don't know you know going you know five losses. We might get a share of it. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think uh, if somebody gets hot, I think I think four losses could win it. 
What about uh, Landon? You mentioned his blocks. Did have you stressed a bit more that he go after the ball? Yeah, yeah, that was coaching. That the reason why he blocked more shots tonight. Uh, no, no, we have been talking a lot of, more about trying to create some activity defensively. You know, we can be decent position defenders and other teams shoot low percentages, but if you don't get any fast breaks or or, or, or uh, deflections or steals or whatever to create easy baskets, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's okay, but it's a little overrated. And tonight we were able to do that, especially early on in the game. Bill Aiden wasn't like your most high profile recruit, obviously, and he had some really high profile guys there. I mean, it, what to say about his, just his, you know, mindset and temperament to, to make himself a player? Well, you know that you know when when we recruited Landon, we recruited him as a as a backup. Be real candid, we recruited him as a program guy, and and, and you know I, I remember talking to his dad and. And he asked, do you think he's going to be good enough to play here? And I said, not as a freshman and maybe some as a sophomore. But by the time he's a junior, he's going to be a major contributor. And, 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 and that's kind of the way it's played out. I mean, that's, every kid wants it to be immediate. Um, you know, Sheck and, Sheck and, and Carlton are, are better prospects uh, coming in here. But you guys saw tonight, I mean, that, that, was a, that was a kid that's been through the wars and, and, and been in the weight room for four years and going against a, a man. And, and uh, you know, he, he knows how to help you win a game. Uh, uh, and, and certainly those other kids will too. They're just a little young. Huggins said he wasn't surprised by Lucas's night. Is that kind of what you're saying? I mean, you think he has that reputation? Around? I don't know. I, I don't know. But, you know, when we played him last year, I don't know if you remember, uh, Landon made the play to put the game in overtime. So so he, he's made some good plays against West Virginia. Anything else? Bill, uh, real quickly, I'm just curious. Uh, how do you celebrate your 100th Big 12 win at Allen Fieldhouse? Uh, uh, I, trust me, if you hadn't mentioned that, our SID is not that good as far as giving me information like that. So I would never have known it. So, so, so uh, Chris would have never come up with that. But uh, I'll celebrate it pretty much the same way you celebrate '99 and '98 and, and and watch OU tape. Uh, but you know, it, it is. Uh, uh, you know, the crowd obviously it wasn't a Kentucky crowd as far as energy and the stuff. But 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 this place is a unique place and and. Uh, um, you know, we still got, I think, what do we have, three home games left that we got to take care of business. But, but uh, it, it, it is, you know, guys are so spoiled getting a chance to play in this, this, this arena and this atmosphere night in and night out.